Imagine a time when kitchens weren't just meant for cooking, but also served as centers of innovation and style. From coal stoves to hosier cabinets, but there are more old kitchen features that were once prevalent in every 1950s kitchen, which we want back. Take a journey back in time with vintage images. In the 1950s, coal or wood stoves were crucial household appliances that served as both cooking devices and major heat sources. Constructed of robust metal, they operated by manually feeding wood or coal into the stove to generate heat. Available in various forms, from practical to extravagant, these stoves added a touch of elegance to any kitchen or living room. Cooking from these stoves required skill, and they provided a more natural and enriched flavor compared to modern methods. However, with the advancement of technology, gas and electric stoves became the norm due to their convenience, efficiency, and cleaner operation. Despite this, coal and wood stoves hold sentimental appeal for many, symbolizing a simpler and more efficient lifestyle. Today, they are valued for their aesthetic and historical significance, as most households had replaced them with conventional gas stoves and heaters by the 1960s and 1970s. In contrast to electric mixers, manual hand mixers were a popular item in the 1950s. The manual hand mixer, unlike modern mixers, required manual turning. It was simple with only a few gears, but it did a great job mixing everything from cake mix to meringue. Turning the handle was part of the fun of baking, making the kitchen smell amazing. These old school mixers remind us of a time when making a cake was about more than just eating it. Before the modern refrigerator, the icebox was the king of the kitchen. These large wooden boxes lined with tin or zinc kept perishables cool with blocks of ice. They were a marvel of their time, allowing for food preservation that was previously impossible. However, the reliance on frequent supply of massive ice blocks made keeping food cold more labor-intensive and unreliable than today. The introduction of electric refrigeration rendered the traditional icebox obsolete, but its name remains a nostalgic memory of the past. The icebox significantly influenced how families viewed meals and groceries. Before its widespread use, food preservation methods included salting, smoking, and pickling. The icebox allowed for a wider range of goods, including fresh fruits and vegetables. The icebox industry grew due to the safe storage of dairy and meat at home, promoting a contemporary diet. During the winter, massive ice blocks were cut from frozen lakes and rivers and kept in insulated iceboxes for use throughout the year. The hosier, a well-built and sturdy cabinet from the 1900s, was more than just a kitchen cabinet. In addition to upper and lower storage areas for ordinary goods like rice, flour, sugar, and spice, it has fixed and movable components to make life simpler for its owner. The movable components included a flour sifter, meat grinder, dish rack, spice rack, sugar sifter, cookbook holder, breadboard, and an attractive nutrition chart. Given the context of their development, they had a distinctive appearance. Other variations of the hosier cabinet had an outstanding design, including an aluminum work table and a porcelain top finish. Depending on the model, the shelves had either a blind front or glass doors. Hosier cabinets were designed to simplify cooking and baking by storing all necessary items in one location, resulting in a distinctive appearance. The hosier is a kitchen cabinet that is over 100 years old. Although the classics are no longer produced, they remain appealing and valuable to enthusiasts and collectors. In the 1950s, every home had a coffee pot. These coffee pots were a crucial part of the daily ritual, and the manner in which coffee was prepared and served was distinctive to that decade. Coffee percolators originally appeared in the late 19th century. The gadget soon gained popularity owing to its ease of use and capacity to produce a robust cup of coffee. The percolator, invented in the early 1800s, is a crucial part of coffee brewing. It resembles an electric tea kettle, but has a long stem that extracts flavor and aroma. Invented by British inventor Hanson Goodrich, it is a popular method for quick and easy coffee making. The percolator's simple design and exceptional dependability make it a timeless choice for gourmets and those seeking consistent coffee experiences. The popularity of self-contained ground coffee filters increased in the 1970s, as more popular instant coffee brands and electric drip coffee machines were introduced declining the popularity of percolators. Butter molds, sophisticated and masterfully created, were formerly a kitchen staple, shaping and imprinting homemade butter into attractive blocks with ornate motifs such as flowers, animals, or geometric patterns. Creating a table centerpiece from a basic dairy product demonstrates both expertise and pride in homemaking. 
Originating from ancient societies in Europe and Asia, these intricate molds feature symbolic motifs representing good luck, health, and prosperity. The historical background provides dimension to the seemingly simple cooking equipment from the 1950s. Butter molds, once a kitchen staple, are now a table centerpiece, showcasing expertise and pride in homemaking. Wall-mounted can openers were widespread in kitchens in the 1950s. Firmly attached to the wall and always ready to use, these durable gadgets can easily open any can with a few turns of the handle. The popularity of wall-mounted can openers coincided with the rise of canned goods, demonstrating the era's preference for durability and convenience. In the 1950s, the popularity of canned products grew among families due to their convenience. Wall-mounted can openers became essential for opening canned foods in the kitchen, providing a user-friendly and reliable tool for opening canned vegetables, fruits, and meats. A bread box is a container for preserving bread and other baked items to preserve their freshness. Bread boxes were typically large enough to hold one or two average-sized loaves of bread, measuring up to 16 inches wide by 8 to 9 inches high and deep. During the 1950s, family used to bake bread at home and the bread box provided a storage option that preceded preservative-laden store-bought loaves. Bread boxes were essential in the kitchen until bread was professionally produced with food preservatives and wrapped in plastic. Bread boxes are still used by many individuals to store commercial purchased bread, but they are especially popular among home bakers. Metal, wood, or ceramics are common materials for bread boxes. Old bread boxes might also be considered valuable antiques by some collectors. Do you remember those mushroom canister sets that your mother or grandmother used to have in the kitchen? I bet you know exactly what I'm talking about. In the 1950s, most kitchens had matching canister sets on the counter, a time when homely kitchens played a central role in the household. Flour, sugar, and coffee were stored in cans printed with flowery or abstract motifs and labeled with their contents. Housewives chose these cans to match the vibrant color scheme of their kitchen. Everyone enjoys a cold beverage after a tiring day at work or when hanging out with friends in the backyard, right? It's easy enough these days, just pop some ice cubes out of the modern ice maker installed in your kitchen and voila, perfect ice cubes on demand. But this wasn't the case back in the 50s. Before the invention of plastic ice cube trays and mechanical ice dispensers, to keep beverages cold, aluminum trays were filled with water and placed in an ice box. Once frozen, a lever was used to remove the cubes from the tray and serve. In the 1950s, Pyrex became a household name. Most of us associate it with memories of family and holiday gatherings, reminiscing about our childhood. Do you remember the dishes your grandma used to have decorated in those cupboards? Most homes had a full set of casserole dishes due to their convenience in preparing dinners. Pyrex dishes were designed for baking and available in various sizes. In the 1950s, possessing a set of pastel Pyrex dishes with a flowery pattern was considered a must-have. In the 1950s, most households had a manual meat grinder attached to the edge. A manual meat grinder was necessary and used for grinding or mincing meat. With the help of the grinder, one could chop or grind meat into smaller pieces, which was convenient for preparing various dishes such as ground beef, sausages, or other meat dishes. It was not only a tool for food preparation, but also a reminder of a time when knowing exactly what was in your food was the norm. However, as prepackaged meat became more readily available and kitchens became more automated, this practice became less common. Although the manual meat grinder is now not often used, it serves as a reminder of the hands-on approach to cooking and self-sufficiency. Did you or your family have any of these old-time vintage kitchen features? Let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, and remember to subscribe as you don't miss out on any of our future videos.